Hello fellow racers and welcome to this video where we will be doing a little track guide on a Mount Panorama and as Bathurst, I'm probably, probably uh, mispronouncing as usual guys, I'm gonna be calling Mount Panorama because my English is perfect. <laughs> so welcome guys, welcome to Assetto Corsa Competizione. For this video, for this purpose, I will use Audi R8 LMS GD3 Evo. And we will try to do, guys, this is not going to be about a setup or anything like that. This is going to be about, I'm going to show you my lap on this racetrack. And uh, then we will look in a detail on what to try to be careful of and such. So I'm going to be driving, I'm going to be talking, but then we will look properly into the details. And I will try to explain why you should try to drive like that and that and that and why. And what to be careful on this track and what to look for and so on so hopefully it's gonna be okay and let's do let's do this guys obviously on this track it really matters what conditions are you driving in because this track is very difficult on tires my track right now is in the hot lap mode it's a bit colder it's around 20 degrees i think and uh yeah it's gonna be a bit faster so we should be able to do like around 59 lap times uh, on this car on this setup we'll see we'll see guys Need to take it very easy. I totally forgot about the first corner already. <laughs> so take it easy, guys. Take it easy. Hopefully the tires will not be too uh, overpressurized. I didn't even check that. So going to the first, the second corner. I'm breaking on the left side here. I'm going to explain it properly, guys. I'm going to just try to uh, do it a little easy now. Because it's a very hard track to talk during the same time as driving. Late braking, careful on the exit there. A bit wider, no problem. We can still gain at least some, some good exit. It's gonna be probably easier for me not to talk and then just do a little review about what I just did because I, f I feel like I'm having trouble listening to the car a bit. <laughs> so basically, this just first part of the video is like me trying to show you that I know the track. <laughs> So you know this is not a clickbait video title or stuff like that. Very hard, very bumpy section. I hate this corner guys, this is my least favorite corner. Okay, this should be okay lab, this is probably not gonna be 59s, but... That was a lot of, lot of mistakes on the mountain. So like, on this track obviously it's very important to be very smooth and very careful. You have to push, but you have to be limited on the push on the push a bit because uh, there's a lot of bumps, bumps you need to avoid, a lot of things you need to avoid while driving around, like curbs and uh, and you you want to use the racetrack all over, but sometimes you just can't use all the parts of the track, you know. So let's go. Late braking, around 80, 90 meters into the last corner. Have a good exit on the second gear. And let's go, let's go. 50, wow, 59.5, so many mistakes. Okay. I'm breaking around 70, 60 meters into the first corner. We need to focus more on the exit. So basically, take it slower in, faster out. With a lot of cars, be careful on the exit curbs because that curb, uh, when it bumps down, on some of the cars, you can hit the traction control limiter, you know, like, you know, Audi, Aston likes that. Breaking around 70 meters again. Easy here. I made a bit wider entry there, easy on the throttle there using whole track. Really difficult braking here. Just send the car in a little bit faster, slow down. Basically, without a throttle, horrible exit there. Don't go too close to the wall on the left. A little lift there on the fourth gear. Smoother than the last time. I need to short shift to fifth gear. Don't go too much on the right. Don't go too much on the left. Don't touch the walls. Little lift here. Don't go over the curb on the left. Lift earlier before the corner, guys, there. Ah, I touched the wall. I touched the wall there. Ah, unfortunate, unfortunate. That was a kind of decent lap. I just turned too early, guys. Very simple mistake to make in that corner because the car, you have to carry a bit higher speed than you want to. You want to slow down, but you can... You can go faster in a corner and you can slide or like stop the car without the throttle with the little bit braking in the turn you know like a trail braking basically very easy way okay watch out for the bumps don't go too much on the right there's a lot of bumps especially it's a, in a multi-class or multi-class racing or when you are meeting a back marker it's a very easy place to crash 
Okay, let's start over, guys. Let's start over. I don't know if I should skip it or if I... I will see, guys. Okay, 90 meters braking. Watch out for the curb. I usually don't, don't touch that curb on the left side on the entry, obviously. Okay, let's try one more time. Focus on the on the exit again. We can brake late. But see, easy on the entry. I literally lifted there and I was very, very gentle. And I focused on the exit. Uh, with some of the cars, you can go over that curb. With some, I don't recommend. As I said, they are hitting the limiter. Going to the second corner, I brake on the left asphalt. Depends on the car. I take it easy on the entry and then I go on a full throttle basically. You can go on this curb, it's all good. This corner is super difficult. See if you can make it right now. Okay, this was perfect. Almost perfect. Close to the wall, but not too close. Don't touch the curb on the right. Ah, oh, this was nice. A little bit drift there, but almost flawless. Shorty fifth. A little lift there. Again, lifting a little bit on the exit because the car just want to oversteer. Full throttle, a little bit side as well. I'm going sooner into this corner, guys. It's better to break less than send it here. I missed the apex again. I can't believe it. I missed both of the apexes there, but it's all good. I forgive myself. Let's not screw up this corner. Hard braking, be careful. Don't destroy your tires in the endurance races. I think I touched the wall there a little bit. Okay. All right, all right, all right. You can see there's like two free tents I can improve, but I don't think it's important to hunt for that. I just want to show you like a good lap. So the next lap, I will try not to talk, and I will just focus on every aspect. Around 140 meters, really depends on your car and setup. Of course, with the full tank or if you have a slipstream or too fast car, you cannot break that much. So I'm breaking like 130, 120 meters. Very nice spot for overtaking. Same with the last corner, you can beautifully send it there. Alright, let's try. I might have to edit this part out. Such a hard track to make a lap, guys. Because, like, anything can... Like, any little slight movement makes big impact. Especially when you drive Audi. Which is good on this track, but still. Some of the cars you can go flat out here, like AMG, Aston, V8. Okay, this was nice. This corner can lose everything there. Okay, that was a good ride on the mountain. Let's see if we can make the last few corners. Still a lot of room to improve. You can slide the car some, sometimes, you know. It really doesn't, it doesn't matter about the setup, guys. Even aggressive default is very, very good. Break very too late. It's all good. Could have been there. I could have break a little bit later. Oh, bad exit. That was a horrible exit. Okay, 59.2. I would say decent. I would say decent. And all right, so this is th that's where we have a hot lap basically put together. And now let's go to the detailed truck guide over the lap. I wasn't sure how to put it together. <coughs> so let's let's try it. Let's try it in this way, guys. I'm gonna try to to show you like this. It's gonna be probably easier for some people. Maybe, hopefully. If not, let me know in for the next video. First corner, we talk about it so many, many times. So many, many times. So, into the second corner, I break around here. Really depends on your car. But it's a great breaking point because even if the marks are destroyed, it's all good. Guys, second corner, I can recommend you guys. Never, ever go 
too wide into the corner. I don't try to go from the outside. As a simple reason for that, if you go from the outside and you take this line, the the, the track has like a broken angle. You know, it's just like instead of like track being like this, the track on the outside is like crooked. You know, so it's like this from the ideal line. So basically, there's only one line. So even after start, try to focus to get on the inside. You can see it like this part of the track is like broken. So if you go on the outside, be careful because you have to take way slower, way slower part of the track because it's so dangerous. It has no grip whatsoever. So try to always be on the inside. A lot of pros knows it, but I still go there, you know. On the exit, you can use the curb. Don't worry about it. If your car is not deadly, you can still make it. Next corner. Hard to overtake, but possible. But guys, you have to focus on one thing. Uh, front engine cars, they can break later. Uh, mid engine or rear engine, they have to break a little earlier. But guys, look at this. Look at this. You probably can see it here. Don't go on this white line. Don't go too close on the right, because as you can see, again, the asphalt is broken. There's like a probably water drain. It's like down, you know. So if you break in this part onto the onto the corner, your car will lose all the control. First of all, that white line is slippery. And second of all, this part of the track, like going down, uh, it just goes down, you know. <laughs> Win Diesel! Win Diesel is watching! And he's like, this guy! Here, as we saw in a video already, you can trust the grip of the car. You can slow down, basically, in this part, you can sl still slow down off the throttle, a little bit braking, you know. And, and and then try to focus on the exit, you know. Focus on the exit. You don't have to go towards this wall. It's better, like, if your exit is around here, you know, this side, and try to accelerate as much as possible. If you're overtaking someone, be careful on this side. Don't go too much to the left, as again, not much grip and the track is going down a little bit. There's a drainage and everything. You can see there's a big, big jump and also the water canal. So be careful on that. With my beautiful, beautiful Yazzie livery. Okay, next again. Same here. You can go on a white line. No problem whatsoever for next corner. But don't go here. See? Because the car is going lower. Sometimes the car even bottoms out and you go straight. It's no good. Same thing as I was saying in, uh, in before. Do not touch the curb on the inside, that's like certain death almost, you know? Like, it's, most of the cars will just go there, you know? Um, that was close. Same here, if you touch this wall, be very careful because sometimes it bounces you too much. Sometimes it doesn't, but sometimes it bounces you too much, you know? And you can go very quick, it depends how the track conditions are, you know? You can go almost full throttle, but I recommend it's not worth it going full throttle, you know? Next here, another death, guys. By all the logic, I think in real racing they do it, you want to go as close to this wall. Don't. Don't, guys. Don't! Because, again, drainage, you can see, you can see beautiful on the video, right? You can see beautifully how the track is like going down. So try to stay on this side, you know, all maximum here. Because the problem is, here, the car gets so much uh, g-forces into the corner, you are like 4th, 5th gear, almost full throttle, you know. And, yeah, now I felt it in force feedback. There's like a little hole. I don't know if it's, a, it's back or is it on purpose. There's like a little hole, guys. I saw so many crashes there in the league races because you go here full throttle, you want to steer and your car just bumps. Maybe I will find some footage. The car just bumps. I think Balanzin had at least six or seven incidents with back markers in his stint. <laughs> Two stint that he did. Oh my god. Ooh. You go straight, you know? So try, you want to go to the wall, don't go. It's not worth it. So then, going this corner, almost full throttle. Do not touch this curb if you don't want to crash. Three more laps, guys. Can you calculate the fuel for like 41 minutes? It's gonna be like 80 liters. Never mind. Scratch that. Don't slide too much on the exit. I'm like, yeah, you can go close to the wall, but be careful. Next corner, like there, are like free hops, like here, here. And here, it's like a few free hips, hops. Depends on your setup, depends on your car. With some of the cars, like Aston V8, you can just go flat out. With Audi, you want to be like gentle, gentle on the throttle, you know, like 
50, 40, 60 percent, very gently, taking care. Do not touch the curb here because there's a big bump. It's an ends, you know. It's a, the car just, you know, and you're done. A lot of people make mistake if you go like this. They still go on the throttle. Make sure, guys, to leave the throttle. Be very gentle because if you keep full, full throttle, pirouette, gone. Okay. I need to drink, guys. One of the most important corners to gain time. It's hard to overtake here, but to gain time. It's like you can see the bumps, right? So many bumps. Uh, I think optimally, what I recommend, guys, is to brake earlier, but less. You probably saw it when I was driving. The car was like bumping a lot. So what happens if if you want to brake late? Let's say you want to brake very very late. The car will carry so much speed it will bounce and slip and go into the crash. You know, we saw it so many times. So better to brake a little bit earlier. As we saw in the video, just a little gentle, go earlier into the corner, not too late. This bump there, over left, just earlier into the corner. You can just cut it here beautifully, you know, carry the speed. Uh, depends on your setup, you can break on this curb very nicely, but don't go too much on the left because here, again, jump, see? Big jump. So what? watch out for that canal, you know. Easy braking. And this corner, fascinating guys, this corner is fascinating, because instead of braking so hard, you can basically release on the braking a little bit and use the car rotation in this corner because it slides a little bit to cool down the car and then when it's straightened, you just brake a little bit more into this corner, but also as you can see, it's like it's like an angle of the asphalt there, so you can basically send the car earlier, you can even like aim for this wall on the left, you know, so you can send the car it will understeer a bit and then pff, full throttle out, you know. Do not go over this curb too much. You can, but if you go too much, bump, wall, game over. Okay, easy, easy going into these corners. My least favorite corner, guys. Better to a little bit lift here and break a little bit in this section. Take it easy because, of course, you can see how the track is going down. The car releases, you know, it lifts a little bit. It loses the contact, so even if you have like ABS 3, 4, 5, even 6, the car still want to lock up, you know. We saw it on, a, on, a, on my hot lap already. It's very easy. So better to try to try not to. Hit the car, go as soon as you can to this wall and accelerate. But be careful, it's better to accelerate a little bit later. Because if you accelerate soon, you will go to this wall and you will have to lift or slide or hit the wall. So you just release this, you know, you're easy peasy, you know, just... Uh, Go slow, fast in, you know. Use the track angle, you know, very nice. Okay, we go full speed. Guys, in a race, when there's a multi-class or back markers, be careful when you go in the right side here. A lot of bumps. Especially this corner, guys, this bank. You go full throttle. If you go side by side with someone, here is a gigantic bump. You don't see it now, but you probably saw it when we were driving there. So you have to be careful when you're going side by side. Guys, braking around, depends on your car. I can brake like 140 with the Audi, because the Audi just can't handle it, you know? But my engine is there, yep. And again, this. Don't go over the curb. You can aim for the curb, like, but maximum you want to hit it is like this, you know? Just touch it a little bit. And focus on the exit for this curb, beautifully. Up on the exit, you know, very, very nice, smooth into the corner. You can just send the car in, you know. Last corner, nice for overtaking as well. You can send it there on the inside. Let's say around 80 meters braking. Up, depends on your car. And don't go over the curb in here again, you know. Take it easy like this, smooth, smooth, smooth. Uh, let's go, you know. Beautiful and easy, guys. First corner again. I'm braking around like, yeah, let's, I don't know, 70 meters. Uh, you want uh, uh, you want to turn a little later, you know. You want to take like a later apex and smooth on the exit. You can go over the curb, or you don't have to because, as you could see, you know. So yeah, I mean, this is it, guys. I would say. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope this was for some use. Uh, it really doesn't matter like uh, what setup you have, basically. Like the setup, if you want to know, I would f you should focus on a a big top speed. And big top speed because when you go down the hill, it's perfect place for overtaking. If you have a good high speed, it's basically the only place you can overtake like very easy way. You know, the last corner and the long straight down the hill because anywhere on the top of the mountain, 
I don't know, you don't want to overtake there because it's too risky, it's too dangerous, you know? So basically, you, you want to have like very low on alpha. So on Audi, for example, we are driving like two wing, you know? I saw even on a Porsche RSR, they are using like a free wing for the race, instead of like 12, usually. So you have to find yourself a good balance of the car, you know? So you can balance the car like lowering the rear, lowering the wing, lowering the rear, so it will have still the good speed. And you can go from the aggressive setup, you know, so try to focus on a very good balance in the fast, fast corners, you know, because that's basically it. And on the bar braking, so the car is very stiff, you know. Uh, the best cars, probably on this track, right now, on this date, it's 29th of September, right now when I'm recording. The best cars on Mount Panorama, Honda NSX, AMG, Mercedes, a super great two cars, very easy to drive as well, especially AMG is good. Uh, you can run very high traction control without losing any time. Audi is very good, but it's a bit riskier. Uh, it's very bumpy, and especially on a, in a, like, the AMG is totally killing it in the middle sector, on the top of the mountain, but Audi is, like, very good in the last sector and the first sector, but the middle is, like, very deadly, you know, especially on the bumps and everything. You make mistakes, you just crash. Uh, Ferrari, very good. Stable as well, if you have a good uh, basic setup. Uh, Nissan GDR, very nice to drive. And yeah, that's probably it from the top cars. Aston Martin V8, guys, uh, I would recommend for every beginner on this track. Because Aston Martin V8, pure joy. Pure joy, guys. Uh, yeah, I hope I covered everything, guys. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know some feedback, what you would like to improve for the next video. And yeah, 